Hello everyone, Dr. Mandel here with you. Today I'd like to talk about something very important. It's one third of our life that we spend time in bed. Although I'm gonna talk about the advantages of sleeping on the floor, particularly a hard surface. Now I'm not talking about sleeping on concrete nor a hard tile floor. Uh, if you have something that's carpeted like this uh, and or a yoga mat, which ideally is perfect because it's firm, uh, it will give you good support, and it will not cause any pain or discomfort. So for today, I'm gonna to use the yoga mat, but uh, though uh, we spend about one third of our life in a sleeping position, obviously if we don't sleep correctly, our cells are not gonna repair and heal the way that they should, therefore leading to many conditions of increased pain, anxiety, uh, weakness of the immune system, uh, fatigue, lower resistance, and the list goes on. So today, not only am I gonna show you the correct way to sleep, but I'm gonna show you a, an additional uh, technique that you can do for lower back pain. Uh, we're gonna do a distractive technique, particularly while lying on a firm surface. So uh, here, uh, is a cervical pillow. A cervical pillow uh, has a hump on one end. It's, it's uh, kind of like a foam memory here and it has uh, a smaller hump on the other end. I'm going to use the larger end on my neck when I sleep on my back. Realize when you lie on, a, uh, on the floor, this is not for people who sleep on their stomach or sides. This is ideally designed to sleep strictly on your back because of the fact the weight bearing is going to stabilize the spine the greatest. Now, many of you will say, I've slept on my back and I wake up and I'm extremely sore, I'm extremely achy, because muscles have to adapt, muscles have memory. A good analogy is that when you work out hard at the gym or exercising outside and you wake up in the morning and your muscles are sore, that is considered normal. But as you continue to do this, your muscles will not get sore anymore and your pains will start to diminish because you will have much more stabilization. The most important thing about sleeping is maintaining the three normal curves in our spine. If you look from the side view, here is the cervical lordosis, the mid-back called the dorsal or thoracic spine. You should have a kyphosis or a curvature that goes outwards. And in the lower back, the curve goes back in a lumbar lordosis. If you look from the front or the back, it should always remain straight. If there is a curvature, that would be considered a scoliosis. Our ideal posture today would be lying on our back like this. When we lie on our back, we need to stabilize that cervical curve. You can use a rolled up pillow, rolled up towel. Uh, you can use a cervical pillow, but we wanna make sure we stabilize that curve. What we also wanna do is that we want to bend the knees. When we bend the knees, watch what happens to the lower back. This starts to flex up. It releases the hip flexors as well as opens, opens up the IVF space, which is, which is where the holes are coming out in the lower back, what we call the intervertebral foramen. So if we can sleep in a position and relax muscles, reduce irritation off the nerve, and maintain proper support and posture, this is going to help accelerate the health of our spine and diminish a lot of your pain and suffering. I want you to be aware of the sacrum. The sacrum is in the lower back area, the triangular bone. This is where the L5 and the sacrum meet, the L5 vertebrae called the lumbosacral joint. Uh, this particular joint, which is the lowest joint in our spine, we are going to decompress this for those people who have lower back pain. I'll show you in just a second. So what we're going to do first, when we lie down, uh, we're just going to lay on our back with our head on the cervical pillow, rolled up towel, whatever you have. You're going to put a support underneath the knees. You can use a rolled up towel, you can use a regular pillow, but you want the knees a little bit bent. Now, <clears throat> this is very important. When you're lying here, and I'm quite comfortable, uh, what I want you to do, I want you to squeeze your buttocks together. And as you squeeze your buttocks together, you'll feel your pelvic rock backwards. Now what I want you to do, I want you to bring your pelvic forward as you're arching your back. Go ahead, arching your back. Now when you arch your back more, 
you'll notice that that sacrum is hitting the ground. Now that that sacrum is hitting the ground, what I want you to do, I want you to pull your abdominal muscles up towards your chest. And when you do that, you're going to feel an opening on that lumbosacral joint. Okay? So you're going to go ahead and arch the back as you're rotating your pelvic forward. I want you just to bring your body upwards as you bring your abdominal area up to the chest. As you pull up, and you'll hold it there about five, six seconds, and you'll feel that nice opening in that lumbosacral spine. But ideally, when you sleep like this, you need to be on your back. Uh, a good pillow, good support. Keep the knees bent, taking the hip flexors out, relaxing the lumbar muscles, opening up the IVF space in the lower lumbar spine. And ideally, this is going to make a huge change for you because of the fact that when you sleep on a mattress, a mattress is usually going to be soft or much, much softer than something firm like this. The whole purpose of being on something firm is to allow gravity to come down on earth where nothing is taking its normal distribution of weight away from the way the joints uh, supposed to be in. So uh, I hope that this particular uh, technique as well as uh, lying in this particular position makes a big change for your lower back. Realize that if you are having significant pains in your bed and you notice that they won't go away, most likely your mattress is too old, too soft, and it's not supportive uh, enough for your spine. I ask you to share this video. Check me out, Motivational Doc on Facebook. Leave your comments below, share this video, and most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.